students. Okay, and I've been teaching Python for for many years, so I installed a different version. So, okay, and uh, this is the latest one. Okay, so now you got uh, the some executable file called IDLE, kind of ID ID integrated development uh, kind of uh, learning environment. Okay, so. Uh, kind of uh, have a GUI graphical user interface to integrate the editing. Uh, let's run it. Let's run it. Okay. Let's see what happened in our IDLE. Okay. Uh, you can new a file. Not new a file. Oh, this is what IDLE. Uh, let's let's rerun it again. Oh, so we run it. This is how you uh, will get called uh, a little bit weird. IDLE shell, shell, what is shell? <laughs> shell, Python, shell. A shell is a, it's, it's an idea from the, the Unix, okay? Once you uh, install the operating system, you need a shell, a kind of interface uh, also the software you so that you can type the command okay normally they have an inbuilt command like a dir change directory file uh, maintenance uh, command delete the file create a file uh, or even you, you can write a script okay let's a shell so python will create a shell so that you can interact with the python okay so now you are in the Python shell in environment. Let's try. Hello, I am Han Yu Chen. Or my name. How are you doing? If you are a beginner, uh, you want to say hello to Python, you will be <laughs> frustrated, <laughs> okay? Because interpreter is not a real human even though you write you write about the english they probably cannot understand <laughs> your english okay oh so frustrating right isn't it okay what about uh i come in peace <laughs> <laughs> Syntax error. <laughs> okay, so what should I do? What should I do? Okay, everything is syntax error. What can you actually understand? Can you understand English? <laughs> this is why we need to learn the programming language, right? What about this? Uh, I equals one. I, I <laughs> plus plus ten. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> you know, right? It really can calculate something, right? So this is uh, in the interactive mode. Okay, one way to do it. Okay, you run the application. Of course, in this case, you need to have a graphical user interface. But sometimes, we run the Python in a small, tiny machine without any, without too much memory space, without uh, even uh, in front of the computer, because we kind of remote, remote, log on to a small, tiny embedded system. Okay, no monitor at all, no display at all. Okay, so what you can do is to use a, we call a terminal mode, okay. So now I'm going to show you uh, what I like, terminal mode. I, the Mac user just type the terminal, uh, you will get uh, <clears throat> this kind of uh, text mode. I can make it as large as I can so that you can see clearly. Okay, L this terminal mode is uh, like a, you 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 can use a text text 
okay, in the Unix system or the Windows system to interact with the operating system, okay. And of course, you want to uh, call a Python because Python interpreter, right? So you can type Python, okay, and sometimes uh, you will you will you will get a result like this. I cannot find this program. Okay, okay. Here's a here's a, the fact because now I'm install. I my operating system already have the different version of the Python. Okay, so too many. So I need to run the correct one. Okay. The correct one always uh, kind of linked to a name called a Python 3, okay? So first I would suggest you start to type the Python. If it doesn't work, maybe you type the Python 3, okay? So now you get the uh, text interactive mode uh, exactly uh, the way you see in this, okay? IDLE shell, okay? And this one is more compatible with any kind of uh, uh, computer system as long as they support the text mode okay so I highly recommend it uh, don't uh, complain that uh, you need to type this uh, you want to use this because this is the basic okay so you can do another thing for example give the name name uh, uh, you can uh, declare a string if you know what is string uh, I am a Python learner maybe okay it's combination yeah if you use a string uh, in Python you can uh, use a single quote now I'm using double quote okay and then this single statement it's actually a uh, very, very good. Okay, a variable assign one constant data, and which is string. Okay, which is string, and you assign to the name uh, memory space. Okay, so what can you do? You can, of course, you can print it now. Okay, so print name. Yeah, you got a get a feedback so Python actually ask you your second command you use issue to the Python interpreter and you get the result okay so maybe you want to try uh, some thing maybe uh, Chinese can Python support UTFA okay remember we talk about the how uh, text can be represented in in binary right okay and and different language may need to use a different encoding okay like a unicode utfa is is one of the most used so python actually support a utfa so now i want to change uh, my name uh, for example uh, c name c means chinese okay so now Uh, Chen Hen Yo. Okay, I type this print name, C name. Yeah, okay. So now let's try uh, another another uh, command. Can I can I do something to this two string? Okay, okay. What about uh, uh, print? name plus plus c name Ooh, okay you can see this two variable uh, in python because they are all string type data type the plus will become kind of meet or concatenate or joined together what a lovely, what a brilliant uh, function. Actually, it's quite normal in high-level language, right? Plus, uh, supposed to be do the math, add, right? Adding. But now, in the different 
different data type, they kind of adapt to it accordingly, what's breathing, okay? So this is our first experience of intro, uh, kind of maybe not the first or second experience, right? But I introduce you more about uh, this, okay? Another way is a third way, okay? You, you, you learn how to write a program, your program become much more, much more complicated. Maybe you have uh, 50 lines in total, right? You don't want to every time you type every single line of interact because you already know what's going on, what's happening. You want to run the Python in a full speed, okay? If that's the case, uh, you need to use the editor, okay? Type every line, okay, and look good. And then you save, you save into the disk. I give it a name, .py, okay? And then you can, in the command line, you kind of run the Python interpreter, interpreter and then take that file, source.py, as an input to run it, okay? Uh, how do I do this, okay? Uh, let me try, okay? First, I need to uh, write down my, my, uh, I, I need to create a file, right? Uh, so you need an editor. What kind of editor do you have in your operating system? Uh, some people have a no paid. Some people use a, a text editor. There are many, 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 right? Uh, I use Atom, A-T-O-M, okay, uh, which is a free download open source. <coughs> now I try Atom, okay, let's try Atom. Uh, if you need to uh, download it, just Google search, it's just an editor, okay. So name, I type the name, uh, I'm, am, uh, I am a Python programmer, okay? Okay, C name. <coughs> Type exactly the same, okay? This is our second line, third line, just print. Name plus C name. Okay, that's it. Uh, so far, you uh, you haven't saved your file yet, right? So be sure to save, save your file, okay? And save to the place, to uh, the directory um, your Python can have access to, okay? Um, Let's see if we can save uh, my Python code to the desktop. Okay, I desktop have tons of uh, uh, <laughs> tons of document. Okay, I need to tidy it up. Okay, clean it up. But anyway, uh, hello dot py. I save just here. Okay. Uh, let me go to my uh, directory, I see my local directory. Now I need to move to my desktop. Where's my desktop? <laughs> Where's my desktop? Oh, here's my desktop. Okay, I changed directory to my desktop, okay? And then I run my Python 3, the interpreter, and hello.py. Okay, so this command is the interpreter. This file is the file you just added and save it, right? So we just do move to the directory, okay? So now I'm in the same directory of my document where it, live, where it lives, okay? So that I run it, I don't need to specify uh, some directory path. Okay, so here you go. Okay, so this is the actually the normal way of people run the Python 
we just uh, uh, use this uh, uh, full speed mode. Okay, okay. You can run the Python, not kind of interact with with the Python interpreter because the Python parsed and the next, 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 next. Okay. So that's it. That's our first introduction and uh, installation and the environment introduction things like that. I hope that you can a little bit long in this episode. I hope you enjoy and you can try some of your calculation and maybe string manipulation. Okay. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Enjoy. <laughs>